سلام بیننده های عزیز به با اولین برنامه ویژه گفتگو با یک از تلویزیون یک خوش آمدید در ویژه برنامه امروز ما از آقای مارک سادویل نماینده ارشد ملکی ناتو در افغانستان دعوت کردیم تا در برنامه ما اشتراک نمایند مستر امباسادر ویلکم تو تاک تو وان و تانکی فور بینگ ویده است وان افغان پیپل وان وی تاکنگ اباو در ناتو موست افغان پیپل تانکنگ ناتو از از ملیتری ارگانیزیشن was dealing with the war, with the fighting, and the military issue. Uh, recently, early 2010, you appointed as a NATO senior civilian representative of Afghanistan. Tell me more about your rule in Afghanistan and your responsibility. Well, as you say, people tend to think of NATO as being a military organization, but of course we all know here in Afghanistan that there isn't a military solution. We need to bring together the military, the civil, and the political. Uh, because right down there on the ground in the areas where the conflict is uh, at its sharpest, well, people want is security, but they also want good governance, justice, um, health care, education, and all those other services they expect from the government. So we, if we're going to convince the people of Afghanistan to back their government, um, to turn their backs on the insurgency and the Taliban, we have to deliver as effectively on the civilian side, and indeed on the political side, as we do on the military. Now, we've taken probably longer than we should have done to realize that. Uh, but, my job, but, my job, um, uh, but, but my job, alongside General McChrystal's, is to bring that balanced and comprehensive approach to the overall campaign in support of the Afghan government so that we're bringing together security, good governance, economic and social development in support of the government and indeed the people of Afghanistan. So you said about a political solution in Afghanistan. Does that not mean there is no military solution in Afghanistan? There is no military solution in Afghanistan. Everybody is clear about that. And if General McChrystal was sitting here or indeed President Karzai or, or the Defence Minister was sitting here, they would say that too. It's critical that we have an effective military campaign. It's critical that that campaign... Uh, proceeds, particularly in the South, to bring security, to support the Afghan security forces as they uh, widen the zone of security within the South and exclude the insurgents from the cities and the towns uh, of the South and the East. But in the end, this, uh, uh, th th this, this conflict will be resolved in Afghanistan when the people believe that there is uh, uh, good governance, uh, that there's economic and social development, and that all the political tensions that underpin the insurgency have been resolved. So we have to give those as much attention as we give to the military campaign. The military, military success will enable us to address those other issues, but we have to address those other issues. Right. Um, you said there is a no military solution. When there is a no military solution, why United States sending 1,000 troops, more troops to Afghanistan and asking and sometimes begging for other international allies to send more troops to Afghanistan? Well, we're trying to build up the international forces to around 140,000 at the same time as we're trying to help build up the Afghan security forces over the next two years to over 300,000. As I said, although there is no military solution, security and the military part of this is absolutely critical. Without an effective military campaign in support of the Afghan security forces, without strong Afghan security forces, we can't create the security conditions within which the things that the people really want, justice, health care, education, roads, irrigation ditches cleared, agriculture, and all of that, um, and the political tensions resolved, we can't do those unless we have security. So we have to bring security, but security on its own is not enough. So you said you're here to also support the Afghan government, good governance in Afghanistan. What do you think if, if Afghan government make or made some, some decision which is not acceptable by some other opposition, political opposition in Afghanistan, you still support Afghan government? Well, in the end, there is a legitimate uh, government of Afghanistan. President Karzai won the election last year. He set out a program in his inauguration speech, and he has our full support. Uh, now, in, uh, of course, there needs to be a political debate within Afghanistan between the government, the opposition in parliament, uh, and all of the other uh, uh, stakeholders within Afghanistan, civil, civil society, human rights groups, representatives of the tribes and other ethnic groups. But in the end, of course, there is a legitimate government. It's led by President Karzai, and we work with him to bring the kind of 
uh, 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 support to the people, um, the decent governance to the people, the economic and social development that they demand? Well, <clears throat> there are some opposition, political opposition in Afghanistan has well. They have also some point of view in an issue about the about the Afghan government, and some of them saying the Afghan government is not legitimate. They are, uh, you know, they're saying uh, actually the Independent Election Commission appointed Karzai as a president uh, as, as a president of Afghanistan. And the same times, will you talk? Will you rather to talk also with political opposition in Afghanistan, which already in exist? And here they are, you know, comment about Afghanistan. Oh, of course. I mean, uh, I think every diplomat here, I mean, I, not only myself as the NATO representative, but when I was here as British ambassador before, uh, other ambassadors, of course, talked to a very wide range of people, uh, not only the president and his ministers, but I uh, had, a, had a close contact and still see Dr. Abdullah from time to time. We see other political leaders, Speaker Kanuni, uh, Speaker Majedidi and of the upper house, all of the other political leaders we talked to a great deal. Because on the big issues uh, that face Afghanistan, uh, about bringing a political settlement, about ensuring that the peace jirga is a success, mm -hmm. about ensuring that the uh, international forces and the Afghan forces are working together to bring security, mm -hmm. about building a strong economy, on those issues, there's agreement across all of the political leadership of Afghanistan, whether they're in government or in opposition. And it's absolutely right that we have contacts with all of them. But in the end, there is a government of Afghanistan. President Karzai is the President of Afghanistan. We've all uh, recognized uh, his election as entirely uh, legitimate. He, he, uh, he was elected uh, last year. Um, he has our support and of course we work with him and we work with his government. Well, you mentioned health care and uh, good justice and peace. Before I ask some questions about the peace in Afghanistan, I wanted to know what is your definition from the Taliban? Um, President Karzai, Call them brothers. Yes. Uh, well, he's referred, I think, to disaffected compatriots. He's talked about uh, brothers and so on. From our perspective, you know, that, that we support the approach that he's taking. Um, we believe, uh, and this is the alliance as a whole, we believe that a political settlement, a peace settlement for Afghanistan, needs to create the opportunity for all Afghans to re-enter the politically and economic mainstream. And that includes all of the insurgents. Now, of course, they have to accept some key conditions. And again, the government has set those conditions, and I think they command a broad consensus. Uh, the really two key conditions. First, um, respect and acceptance of the Afghan constitution, the territorial integrity of Afghanistan, uh, and all of the provisions of that. And then secondly, renouncing violence as a political tool and renouncing any contact with terrorist groups such as al-Qaeda. On that basis... Uh, any Afghan who wishes to do so can re-enter the political mainstream and play a full part in the future of Af Afghanistan. And our message to the insurgents is you know, that you know, their time is up. They really should take that offer. It's a generous one. Uh, the peace jirga will, I believe, endorse it, and then it will have the consent of the entire country. Uh, and uh, the international community is strongly behind it.